Hello! Unlike the others, this video isn't meant to be a tutorial so much as a demonstration of what you can accomplish once you get familiar with the Druid Builder and how quickly you can get things done. Now I'm going to create a project and just add a bunch of random stuff. So let's call it uh, Twiggy. So first step, design. Let's see. Feed animals command. Feed it. Now let's add an input toggle. Webcam. Okay, how about a range slider? Uh, for the temperature. 20 to 50, because some like it hot. Degrees C. How about uh, submenu? In there, add another input request for a string. Name. Name. Okay, that's enough for the sub menu. How about some selectors? So, some select boxes here. So, lamp, about low, standard, high. <laughs> Lamps. And there it is. And another selector with something a little more extensive. The range. Call it power. So off. Minimum. Weekends. Always. Doesn't really matter. Power save. Okay, let's call that uh, it for the, uh, the UI, and we're gonna add some tracking now. Let's go for a whole number counter, just so we can have something interesting to see later on. And uh, how about the admin name? Let's keep track of that. Admin. And finally, let's, uh, some, let's say we have a sensor going for some random temperature here. Temp. Okay, that's it for our design. Now we're going to customize the code a little bit so that we have something interesting to see. We're going to put some stuff in the heartbeat function. So let's always increment the counter. There it is. Plus, but let's bound it. Modulo, I don't know, 40. Let's also keep track of the admin. So here. And give it uh, the same thing as whatever we put in the input. And finally, the temperature. Let's call it the same as the input. Uh, temperature plus random know, two to ten. Okay, so it'll all be, always be fluctuating a little bit. That should be it. Now, uh, all we have to do is press this button and it'll be sent off to the magical wizards who will generate the code and then crunch it to see if it, uh, if it works out and provide it as a downloadable zip file. And there it is. And apparently we have no errors, even though I'm going really fast. Okay, let's save this. Yes, yes, save. Let's open the folder. Quickie, extract it. Quickie, let's go in here. All these files are pretty interesting and seen in the, or reviewed in the tutorial. The point is we can just upload that. And while that's happening, we're gonna take a quick look. Here are our callbacks, uh, each uh, input and then callback and everything. They all have these pre-filled uh, defaults so that uh, we'll actually be able to see something even though we didn't put any, inf any effort into the uh, customization, except for the heartbeat, which is here. All right, so it's uh, pretty much uploaded. Let's get this going and see what our three minutes has accomplished. We will connect by default, it's 57600. That can be changed in the code, of course. And here we are. Oh, the colors, pain, pain. Let's try these ones. Okay, let's start off with some tracking. We'll add some graphs. Uh, yeah, let's add them all. Okay some space. Now the counter is being incremented every time uh, the heartbeat's being called. So let's add it here, let's add it there. Just add everything everywhere. And the 
men here and shoulder the counter there. So, okay, well, it looks like everything's working here. We have our displays, they're doing their thing. Uh, this bar chart's pretty boring all alone. And there we go. Our commands do things. Uh, here are the callbacks, uh, the admin menu. Let's give uh, our admin a name. Good old Bob is working. So now it's reflected here. It goes into the log. Everything works. So in all of uh, three minutes or whatever that took, we uh, managed to do a whole lot. Look at that. Range, it's 42. And then this should be reflected here. And boom, it shoots up. And then it'll stay there for a little while. Back down. What else do we have? That. So this guy, and this guy, and this guy. Oh well, Bob the third. Okay. Well, we just managed to create a fully functional Arduino program that provides a GUI and state tracking in a matter of minutes. Now, I hope you enjoyed the demo and that it gave you a taste of what you can get done. Both uh, Druid Builder and Device Druid are available, so you can do the same right now. Just please give it a spin and then let me know how it goes. Be sure to get in touch to show off any projects you make using the system. Thanks for watching.